Hey guys, this is Torn and today we're going to be talking about pre-cons that have got huge, huge upgrades coming to them with OTJ. Uh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction has basically finished their uh, or main set uh, reveals now. Uh, we started moving on to the list ones, or the, no, not the list ones. Uh, what is it? The bonus sheet. And then we've got the big game, uh, big heist ones, big vaults, whatever the freaking thing is called. Uh, and then finally, um, we've got the commander precons, but I wanted to kind of talk about these ones because these are going to be five precons that have got huge upgrades from just the base set. So I've got five here that are going to be able to get some huge, huge things coming to them. If you've got these precons, you've upgraded them, or if you haven't upgraded them yet, they're precons to kind of keep an eye out for that OTJ is going to benefit hugely. So the first one here is going to be the exit from exile precon. So this one here is built around playing cards from exile or playing lands from exile um a lot of cards around playing you know just any creatures from exile so it works really well with stuff like adventure cards and stuff like that it did get huge upgrades from the junk tokens that came with um the most recent scrappy survivors and other fallout precons uh but in the new set we've got a couple things that are going to be huge for it the first one here is plot because plotting is going to be casting cards from uh from exile uh so essentially when you plot it you pay it you cast it you put it over in exile and then from there you can then play it on a future turn without paying its mana cost it only is a sorcery um However, you know, you can play it, you know, at any time during your turn. That's, uh, you know, when you, whenever you are able to as play sorceries. So there's a lot of different plot cards in here that are going to do some really great things in here. Um, you know, stuff that like, you know, can uh, do stuff with creatures that are four or more power, deal some damage when it becomes plotted, uh, create some varmint creatures when, you know, X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. So you can kind of plan out stuff for the future which is really interesting uh but i i think that you know this combined with plot uh combined with the exit from exile stuff is going to be really great the next one here is the cards that from exile so there's a number of different cards that play stuff from exile so for example there's jissa corsa here gila gila corsa the lizard mount whenever it attacks you can exile the top card from your library and then you can play it until the end of your next turn we've got this one here exile the top card of your library until next turn you can play it um and then also here, if you control an outlaw, you get to exile the top card of your library. So there's, you know, a few different cards that exile stuff from the top to be able to play for the future. The next one here is Paradox Power. So this one benefits even more from those different things. So Paradox Power was essentially whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand. So that counts, uh, you know, from the top of your deck, from your um, graveyard, from exile. You can see where I'm kind of going from here. Plot again will be huge here. There is a lot of different plotted blue cards and stuff like that. Um, you know, like this Jace here, you can just exile a card and then plot it with his plus one. Uh, you can do some really cool stuff with that. You know, make your own luck here where you get to look at the top three cards, exile one and plot it. You know, there's lots of really interesting cards here built around plot, built around, um, you know, plotting things for the future, etc., cetera, et cetera, that you're going to be able to do some really awesome things with. Uh, and then also... Um, over here, there's some to play from Exile. Doc Arlock, Orlock, whatever his name is, is one that I really, really like the look of because he lets it so that any card you play from Exile costs two less. So when you like impulse draw things, for example, then you're going to put them over. You're going to be able to play them in the future. They're going to cost two less, but also plotting cards from your hand cost two less. So you could build a really interesting deck around the 13th Doctor. The 13th Doctor as well, this is a pre-con that you can get really, really cheap. No one really wanted this Paradox Power pre-con. Um, you know, there was a couple really great cards in it, like the Flaming Tyrannosaurus, not necessarily because of, you know, the actual deck, but just because it was really great with, like, um, the Velociraptor pre-con. Danny Pink, huge staple um, for any uh, card that's going to be... any blue deck that's got plus one, plus ones into it. Um, you know, there's some really, really nice cards in here. But, you know, it's a pre-con that you can get relatively cheap. And these cards here are all going to benefit greatly with it. Like, they're going to do some huge things to upgrade it. Um, 
So if you if you you know are interested in Doctor Who and stuff like that, this deck is going to be great. Even if you don't run, like don't run the thirteenth, you could run um uh what is it? Clara plus the twelfth Doctor. The twelfth Doctor makes it so that any cut spell you cast from anywhere other than your hand has demonstrate because of the way plot works. You could plot something out at the end of your turn, so you could play a card from exile, and you could just play for the, your next turn, right? There's some really cool stuff you could pull off there. All right, next one here is Ahoy Mateys. Don't run Admiral Brass, that's boring. Run the freaking Don Andreas. Don Andreas is built around stealing stuff, stealing cards, stealing treasures, stealing, you know, whatever, uh, stealing creatures. There are so many different cool things that are coming with um, Outlaws with this, as well as the fact that this is a pirate deck. This is a pirate deck. Pirates count as outlaws. Outlaws is like a huge kind of, you know, bubble that's like essentially, uh, it's like mercs, rogues, outlaw, uh, sorry, pirates, assassins, and warlocks, I believe are the five different things. So anything that benefits outlaws is going to benefit your pirates too. So having a look at some of the cards, Jasper Flint here steals stuff off the top of your opponent's deck at the beginning of your upkeep, and then you can cast them. Then, you know, Cast some creatures, cast some spells, create some treasures. Lots of really cool stuff you could do there. At knife point is going to give all of your pirates first strike, as well as creating some tr uh, red mercs. You know, red mercs isn't going to be too bad. You can kind of throw them away and stuff like that. We've got Rakdos the Muscle, uh, making it so that whenever you sacrifice a creature, exile top cards from opponent's deck so you can use him, sack something, and then exile some stuff off your opponent's deck and then cast them. And then finally, you've got Tiny Bones, which makes it so you can cast spells from your opponent's graveyard uh non-permanent uh sorry has to be permanent but you can cast spells from your opponent's graveyard because of that they then become pirates thanks to don andreas don andreas gives them menace death touch and pirates they become outlaws and now they've got first strike lots of really really awesome things you can pull off here Next one here is the Prismari Performance one. This is another pre-con that you can get relatively cheap, built around spell slinging. Now I know that there is a spell slinging deck coming with, um, coming with uh, Outlaws. However, you know, maybe you want to play a different spell slinging deck. There's lots of, again, lots of really cool stuff you could potentially pull off with this. So this is built around, you know, spell slinging and doing more stuff around your spells and stuff like that copying your spells. So there's lots of really cool stuff here. Archmage's Newt gives a uh, spell flashback. Um, if you have, you know, uh, wait, where is it? When it, it deals combat damage to a player, target instant or sorcery in your graveyard gains a uh, flashback. If you have uh, saddled it, it gets flashback zero. So with that, say for example, dig through time. Oh, not dig through time. That's you got delve in it. Say for example, Fiery Fall, you could give that, um, you know, flashback. You could give, you know, some of these big ones here, like Apex of Power. You could give this flashback, right? Now, you won't get the 10 mana from it. So the second part, you won't get the 10 mana from it, but you will get the other stuff. You could give any of these things flashback. You could give Treasure Cruise flashback. Keep in mind, you only need to delve it for the first time. The second time, you don't need to. Really, really, really cool stuff. You've also got Chrome here. Whenever you cast your second spell per turn, put a plus one, plus one and draw cards on him. More card draws are always going to use, be useful. Lila though, Lila is where it is at. First of all, she's got prowess. Secondly, any multicolored instant or sorcery, anytime you cast them from your hand, then you're going to exile them. Then you're going to plot them. So let's have a look here. Multicolor, epic uh, experiment. Now, unfortunately, that's not going to be super useful. You're going to exile, you know, zero cards because it's got an X in it. However, you know, we've got like a call the Skybreaker. Let's do that twice. Uh, we've got Elemental Masterpiece. Why don't we just do that twice? You know, um, up here, we've got Reinterpret. We can do that twice. Uh, not super useful because of the fact that it's uh, a counter spell. <laughs> uh, probably, probably not going to be super useful. Uh, but you know, you can also just go into you know, is it grab all the blue, red, uh, like you know, the is it color. Um, spells and put them in here. Um, even just the prowess though is decent. Uh, you know, there's lots of really cool stuff you can pull off with that. And then next we've got return the favor. This one here I love. This is, this is an amazing card, right? 
First, it costs two red. Then for one, you can copy a target instance, spell, sorcery, activated ability, or trigger. You can choose new targets for it. Or you can also just use it as a redirect. That's just really, really awesome. All right, then our final one here is Undead Unleashed. So this is the Wilhelt precon built around, you know, um, undead zombies, mostly zombies. Um, some mentions of skeletons and stuff like that in here, but mostly zombies. Yeah, mostly kind of zombies. However, you know, we've also got some stuff to do with like, you know, resurrection in here, bringing stuff back from your graveyard, that kind of stuff. Lots of really interesting things that we can potentially pull off here. However, there are just some amazing new zombies coming. So first of all, Rictus Robber here makes it so that when it enters the battlefield, you get to create a 2-2 blue-black zombie. So you can get, you know, a 4-3 a plus a 2-2. We've got Lively Dirge. Dirge? I, I probably butchered that. I I swear that's dirge, right? Uh, you can use it to search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. And then also, if you pay another two, you get to return stuff from your graveyard to the battlefield. But the best parts of this new uh, Giralf, new Geyser, both of them are going to be amazing. Uh, buff up your zombies here. Give them menace. Create two bl tapped blue and black zombies whenever you commit a crime. And then also over here, whenever a zombie enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each zombie that entered the battlefield under your control this turn. So, you know, this here is going to just add in a whole bunch. And then whenever you cast a spell, you get to create zombies as well with your elf. You get to do some amazing things with this. Just create more zombies. You know, there's a whole bunch of graveyard play in black that you can get. Uh, there's even more in the rest of the OTJ as well. Um, lots of really interesting stuff you could potentially pull off here. So I'd love to hear from you guys as to what you guys think. I hope you guys had a wonderful day and goodbye.